Previously on Star Wars, Darkest Dawn, Lord Toranar allowed the team time to lay low and train with the hopes that the trouble they had stirred up would eventually lose interest. However, an attack on an Imperial base on the planet of Aldani caused the Empire to pass the Imperial Emergency Act, giving the Empire much more legal power to do whatever they needed to do to bring seditious individuals to justice. On that same day, the Empire also issued the Public Order Resentencing Directive, which saw most prison sentences extended and significant penalties against any crime the Empire believed to be anti-imperial. This new anti-sedition legislature has led to additional acts of rebellion throughout the galaxy. While no one in the media is reporting on it as of yet, anti-Empire sentiment continues to grow especially throughout the Outer Rim territories. It is now five years before the Battle of Yavin, and our team has come back to Pelagon to see what sort of work Lord Torinar has for them.
go. We are back once again. We are live. Hooray for more Yay. Star Wars. And this time, uh, we're actually back from a five month layover in character. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, if you were able to catch the intro at the very beginning, uh, it did kind of explain what is going on. Uh, but for those of you who aren't aware, uh, the players or the characters themselves, I should say, have taken a uh, five month layover. Uh, this was to try and help uh, let the heat die down, uh, at, you know, lay low, train, uh, uh, get caught up in some areas, um, <clears throat> and then eventually start seeking work again. Um, some of that, of course, will be discussed as um, in tonight's game. Um, <clears throat> but uh, since we're actually past that and I was able to get to the uh, intro, uh, which... I like doing that because I like the uh, movie or the uh, announcer's voice that I was able to get yeah. uh, specifically for it. It's uh, like the Clone Wars. So if anybody has watched the Clone Wars, all the Clone Wars start off with that movie announcer voice yeah. type of sound to it. So, all right. Well, at any rate, everybody uh, is back once again uh, on Pelagon. Uh <clears throat> Uh, so, and those of you who are uh, unaware, Pelagon is an ocean planet. Um, it had several, it actually had quite a few platforms uh, that, um, <clears throat> platforms that rested above the ocean. Uh, um, if you've seen visuals, it's kind of like Camino in a sense. Um, if you're familiar with the Old Republic, uh, it's very similar to... Um, Manan. Manan, there we go, yes. Uh, I, every time I think of the fish people there, because they have the, the the catfish kind of thing coming down, I keep thinking like they might treat it like a beard and just like occasionally like stroke it or something like that might be <laughs> like a nervous tick. One, of, I don't know. It just it, it's the way it kind of felt like that. But anyways, <clears throat> so if you're familiar with those, that's kind of what it looks like. Um, the several uh, a few years ago, Pelagon uh, was attacked in interhouse party or an in interhouse strife. Um, and that was around Order 99, or Order 99, Order 66, uh, around the same time frame. Uh, the houses decided to, uh, that, that it was time to have an upheaval, um, and the uh, House Pelagon uh, took, or House Pelagia, uh, took quite a bit of a brunt of it uh, because they had been very pro Jedi. Uh, so only three of those platforms on the planet now remain. The rest of them are still there, but they're in rubble and they're still in the process of rebuilding. <clears throat> the uh so but you have oh, found yourself question ah. is house pelagia the only house that lives on pelagon yes oh. it, it is their homeworld uh now that isn't to say other house members couldn't stay there uh we haven't really dived into the house politics sort of thing uh, right. but for example if you were a part of House Pelagon, you wouldn't want to go to, wouldn't want to live on a planet that was held by House Massetti. Right. Right. But that, because they're, that they're in essence, not, very bitter enemies. But that's not House, or that's not, uh, they don't live on Pelagon. They live on a different planet. Correct. Now, allies uh, to House Pelagon and vice versa might have like summer homes or swap back and forth between the two of them. That's, that, that is something that could happen. Uh, so it's not just the people of Pelagon uh, or the people of Free Worlds. Um, it could be others. But uh, so uh, that is where we're at currently. Everybody has uh, come back to the uh, mansion where uh, where Lord uh, Torinar uh, uh, typically holds the, uh, uh, well, I should say ho uh, hosts the... Um, uh, the job fair uh, in so many terms but uh this is where you do tend to get to your uh jobs face to face everybody uh is here of course um and right about now where we're picking the scene up is drade fresh off of uh his training session uh in parts unknown uh is back uh, in much warmer parts of the galaxy i might say now uh, and you, um, you, uh, all the team for one reason or another are coming back in, uh, and they're starting to filter into the meeting room that waits right outside of his office. Okay. 
So uh, for those so just, of you for those of you who aren't currently walking in to meet uh, Lord Torinar, um, you might notice, and this could come up in character once he uh, once Draid is done, but you might notice that Draid and Ashi Jock are thinner. Are what? Sinners? Thinner. Yes, you were sinners. Oh, yeah, too. thinner. Okay, yeah, dirty, dirty sinners. <laughs> so say, wait. Yeah, suddenly, suddenly Star Wars took a, 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 a drastic turn, but I suddenly <laughs> understand the reason why Obi-Wan appears in so many uh, uh, yeah, in so many churches now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, I I I it's, uh, I do admit I do like the fact that there are some churches that have a sense of humor and they do try to slide his picture in into their like little Sunday uh uh you know opening sermons or whatnot like the picture of them normally it'll have like a picture of Jesus or some biblical picture on there every so often some church will slide that that really religious looking picture of a sly That's ewan the, mcgregor the episode is, two yeah of him just kind of you know smiling sort of thing <laughs> look, looking very jesus like <laughs> so it's very cool i do like that <clears throat> so uh anyways uh Dred, you are walking in uh, at this point uh and right now um lord torinar is currently uh, uh he's actually looking over something on a data pad uh, and as you uh, you know come walking in, he doesn't think anything of it because he was expecting you at the time. Um, and it looks like we're losing Colin right now, so you guys keep an eye out uh, just in case he ends up dropping off. He's got a really bad connection right now. Got it. Yeah, he's back. <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to refill while you know Drade's talking for us. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and no, actually, I. Yeah, I don't have him. Yeah, I don't have him. Oh, because I ha yeah, I have him. Yeah, I have him too. No, I I have him on another window, but he's dropped out of the um, Twitch. Uh, of well, not t well, yeah, on the, the the Twitch stream. Colin, I need you to drop out and come back in. Were you able to hear him, Colin? Okay. So, inquiring minds want to know: Did Montaigne come back with a thicker coat? Uh, well, he's not here right now. You'll have to you'll have to find out. Um, <clears throat> I wonder if he's like a poof ball now. Uh, but at any rate, so he. But as oh, you I mean, as you come walking shitting. in, mm -hmm. uh, you know he, uh, uh, you know, Exal kind of does a double take, and he's like, "You are gaunt." Well. Training was rigorous, to say the least, in a rigorous world, but worth it nonetheless. I'll uh, uh, I'll take my thinness as a, a compliment, though. Thank you, Lord Torinar. You're looking uh, pretty good yourself. Uh, well, I, unlike you, I think I managed to get sun. <laughs> uh, so, but uh, perhaps that will go to helping to disguise your your look. Um, Never mind that. Uh, uh, I do have a job for you. However, there are some things you will probably want to know uh, since you have been out of the world for a spell. Uh, he says, uh, in the five months that you and your team has been away, uh, he says there was a particularly nasty bit of business that came off of the planet. Uh, 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 some out of the way planet that had actually had an imperial air base on it uh, a small planet called aldani and uh, details are sparse but apparently it was enough that it put the entire empire into an uproar they have passed some sort of imperial emergency act uh, and from what my people ha are telling me it was a way for the Empire to consolidate internal power, giving them a way to cut through a lot of the nonsense, which means they're probably going to be faster to respond to uh, things that they find worth their time. It's no longer system by system, planet by planet. Uh, and then he says they also passed 
uh, the Public Order Resentencing Directive, uh, which um, everyone who is currently serving uh, time for a crime got their sentences extended. And everyone who was up to uh, everyone who was up for uh, judgment in a crime had it's uh, a way to put this. Um, <clears throat> their their maximum amount of sentencing was given uh, or uh, doubled. Uh, Any time that the empire felt that it was uh, in relation to an act of sedition <laughs> whatever happened on aldani must have been significant for them to take such a big step he says so unfortunately that will likely create problems for your team going uh going forward um, i did however because your team uh, w failed to do so, but understandably why, uh, the last time that you were out, I did manage to push through some code chains for Nasara and Owen. Much obliged. Appreciate that. Uh, is, is there anything we owe you for doing that? No. Excellent. Well, that makes our jobs easier. We can focus on whatever task you lay before us. Speaking of which, did you have anything arranged? I do. <clears throat> I'm certain you're going to have a difficult time um, bringing this to your team. Uh, but this is a jailbreak. Huh. For who, might I ask? Uh, he says there is an uh, an individual uh, by the name of Voren Nall. He is important to some contacts of mine. Uh, a little bit of context. He was recently caught up in the Public Order Resentencing Directive. He, by trade, is uh, a, he's a, a historian. Uh, and he has seen enough of history to understand, in his opinion, uh, which way this is going to go with the Empire. And they obviously didn't take very kindly to some of his statements. I see. Well, do we know where he's being kept? We do. We have most of those details. Well, he says, <clears throat> this is where it gets tricky. He says, I don't know if you know anything about uh, Camino. Hmm, Camino. Can I uh, make a, what's that, planetary systems? You role? sure can. Okay. Do, 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 do. Uh, 3D plus 2. Uh, I will give you uh, an additional plus two to that roll. Oh, sweet. Because it is likely something you would have would have heard. Okay. A uh, fourteen. And a fourteen puts it puts us at what moderate at least. Uh, yes. Pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. You have heard of it. You don't know a whole lot, but you have heard of it because all of the clones have come from there. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, an alien race known as the Kaminoans were the or master geneticists, and they were the ones behind uh, cloning Django Fett to create the the clone army, and that's where they originated from. Gotcha. <clears throat> so then he goes. Kimino, that is essentially the birthplace of the clone army, if I'm not mistaken. Dad, I, you are you are correct. I, I did expect that you would know at least that much. <clears throat> he says, shortly after, shortly after the war, during a reconstruction phase in which the 
Empire was attempting to phase out the clones and bring about the new uh, stormtroopers, which are volunteer uh, or conscription, conscription in some cases. A rogue vice admiral uh, had laid siege to the city uh, for reasons that were not entirely too certain, but it did come up during a Senate meeting uh, and uh, because of the potential genocide that um, almost befell the Kaminoans. They now effectively don't really have a home world due to, the, due to that particular siege. Um, since then, uh, Camino has sort of slipped off of the map. It sits near the it sits near Wild Space, so it is off of most major trade routes. Uh, there's not much reason to go there. Uh, and since the major city of uh, Topoka City has been destroyed, it sort of laid barren for the most part. It, like. Uh, Palagon, it is an ocean world uh, and had platforms that were specifically designed to resist the uh, ocean the ocean tides and hurricane-like weather. Since then, uh, my contacts tell me that it has been used as a temporary waypoint for prisoners uh, in uh, for the prisoners of the Empire. Uh, as it is an ocean planet and it would require more resources than I think that they're willing to throw at it, they are moving what prisoners that they have there currently to parts unknown. We can confirm that Mr. Na'al is on that planet and will be boarding a dungeon ship uh, to be transferred. I see. Do we have a uh, timetable when we need to intercept the ship? Do you are you are you thinking that we would be doing this on Kaminoa or via the ship in space? Let me go ahead and get the uh, visual for those who might be watching. We'll get that on the stream. Uh, and, oh, he'd also tell you that it is a Lictor class prison sh ship. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> he says. I can provide you with the floor plans. I can provide you with uh, its particular armaments. Um, and I can suggest a course of action. How, how you decide to go about this is entirely up to you. The pay is 20000 Double, uh, uh, well, with the escalators, obviously, uh, that w might potentially count. Uh, double if you can get in and out without them... Uh, knowing that you were there. I see. All right, then. And you said that you had a uh, possible option that we could take on how to approach this. He says, this is my particular suggestion. Again, this is your team. You can take this or leave it. Uh, my suggestion would be to lock on to the slave ship with the blue saber and dock uh, aboard the ship prior to it jumping to light speed. Hmm. During the hyperspace travel, that would make it easier for us to stay on, more difficult for them to stop and deal with us. Correct. Once you get on, uh, once you were uh, on board, you could then find uh, find a way to locate uh, the prisoner and liberate him from the facility. Uh, what I what we do believe, uh, uh, or what my contacts have indicated to me, is there is a skeleton crew of uh, <clears throat> a skeleton crew manning the, the vessel, which means you're looking at potentially. Um, under 700 or sorry under seven uh under uh, uh under 400 as far as the crew is concerned and potentially 200 security wardens give or take the the vessel itself can uh, fit up to 9,000 prisoners but we have 
uh, reason to believe that it's sig uh, significantly under half, given the skeleton group. All right. Uh, my piece of cake. My suggestion uh, would be uh, to find a way to make your way to the bridge, because the bridge, should something go sideways, uh, does have the capability of being sealed from the rest of the vessel. Should someone attempt to hijack it, or the prisoners get uh, loose, and there's enough supplies for them to survive. Uh, for up to two months on the bridge alone. If you're able to get onto the bridge, you should be able to locate the prisoner uh, with relative ease, uh, given your uh, slicer's particular skill set. And then from there, liberate him from his cell, make it back to your ship, separate during light speed, which that might be a bit difficult. Um, <clears throat> but that's probably the 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 effort that would uh lead well given your team it would likely be the um uh, most quiet unless you have other ideas but the uh um once you have dropped from the ship and obviously exit light speed you are to proceed back to the elrude sector uh to the coordinates that have been dropped into uh the blue saber already your team is also being given uh, a former smuggler's base uh, in the Elrude sector uh, to use it to help lay low at for the time being so that you're not leaving a job and coming directly back here. I see. Excellent. So on future missions, you'd like us to effectively uh, waylay at this uh, smuggler's base before then coming here making Correct. it more difficult for them at least a day understood hmm. okay excellent let's see here we have the pay we have an understanding of what's there no! we have a timetable of when the transfer is going to take place is that correct yes we do believe it's going to be taking place within uh within the week which means you will need to leave as soon as possible. Right. All right, then. I am liking your plan. Being able to move throughout the ship could be tricky trying to do that. I'm not sure we'd be able to make it perfect without them knowing, but that would likely give us the greatest chance of success. It's going to be more difficult for them to deal with us in transit than on the planet. All right. Well, unless there's anything else we need to know, um, has there been any word regarding uh, what <clears throat> House Massetti has been up to or what those bounty hunters have been trying to do? None as of yet. I've been keeping my eye out, but I have, I have not seen anything uh, currently. Good, good. Well, I'm glad that the five months off the radar seems like it's been a bit of a help. Uh, all right. I think that's all we need, unless there's anything else you needed to tell me. No, uh, that, or, oh, well, um, he would also tell you that the uh, ship is protected by 10 quad turbo lasers, two uh, that face the front and four on either side. So they, they just have arcs. They're not, uh, you know, they don't spin like a 360. Okay. Uh, but he also does tell you that it does have two tractor beams. Okay. Might want to deal with those before we leave. Okay. Excellent. All right. That should be enough then. All right. And I take it there's well, like a data pad with some of this info that mm -hmm. he would have. Okay. Oh yeah. So he... With the, the, the plans to, you know, to that type of vessel, you know, uh, uh, and whatnot, everything. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. Yeah. So he's got that flip through it real quick. All right. Everything seems to be in order. 
Appreciate it, of course. Lord Torinar will return as soon as we can with Naal in our custody. Good luck. May the force be with you. He stands up, turns, and heads out. Okay. Goes ahead and meets up with the rest of the crew, assuming that they were just kind of standing there, or if they're already back at the uh, the ship. Where would you guys be? Uh, probably, ship? probably no, probably at the because uh, the the ship is in dock. At the oh, you, oh, okay. you have to take Never a mind. shuttle to it, so you, you're right. probably waiting in the uh, the waiting room right there. Okay, cool. So, I want to know something. I asked, but you were gone. So, is Montan fluffier? He's probably got some thicker fur. Yeah. So we can call him Poofball. He doesn't have he doesn't have a furminator. Floby. <laughs> 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 that probably was his first stop though. When he gets back, is like get groomed. <laughs> groomed. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, there's Looking probably hard, food right? in the waiting area, and Nassar is definitely trying to get Ashi to eat something. Gotcha. She'll nibble on a little bit. All right. Yeah. So then, uh, yeah, Dred comes walking up and he goes, Well, everybody, it's good to see everybody actually back. Uh, Sarah Owen, you two are looking good. How's how how have you been the past few months? It's, uh, it was nice. Spent a lot of time with my son. That's and great. Some time training. I mean, he has his classes, and uh, I took some too. So hmm. it's nice. Great. It's Excellent. been uneventful. I've just. Did, did my time basically increase yeah, my skills better? Training, training all around. Well, that's great, everybody. I'm, I'm glad we all kept preparing. We didn't slouch off, even though we weren't on the job. Well done, everyone. And now that we're back, we're getting right back into it. The plan this time is a twenty thousand dollar pay or twenty thousand uh, credit payout. Double that if we can accomplish this without our adversaries knowing that we accomplished it. And if you're asking, it's a prison break, a special one. So in a sense, without them knowing, it was us. And hopefully without them realizing that our bounty, I, I guess we can call them, is, uh, ha has left their uh, dungeon ship. You see, uh, any of you heard of the planet of Camino? Can I roll? Yeah. I probably should, no. too. <laughs> I don't think I would know about it. Lost a planet, Master Obi Wan has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How embarrassing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been introducing my son to all the movies, so uh, we just finished episode three. Ah, nice. Nice. What the heck? Uh, Jerome, what was the name of the act? I got an eighteen. Emperor, <laughs> or that the uh, that the Empire instituted. Oh, one second. How oh, cool! Oh, I'm okay. It might help if I actually roll stuff right. Okay. Oh, hey. Get that low. Oh, I forgot. You're trying to do it without eyes. Um, eighteen. I have one eye in. You got a six in there. Base knowledge skill I could roll. Holy. Oh, I do have a six. <laughs> Is it the first so. one? I forgot. Do I just, I roll by 3d6 again? 
No, you just, only just, oh, one. just one. Just, just one. one. Okay. okay. With no planetary system score, I rolled a twenty-one. <laughs> okay, so Holy moly. eighteen. That would be Five. twenty-three for you. Twenty-three. Yeah, twenty-three. I don't got planetary either, but I managed to get an 18. Okay, so it sounds like D6s. everybody was in front of the hollow net when this happened. <laughs> um, so, uh, Camino ha uh, is, uh, has been, although you may not know exactly where it's at, Camino did uh, come up uh, because it was brought on the Senate floor at one point for as a war crime because of the Vice Admiral that basically shot it up. Uh, and decimated the uh, decimated the the one major city that was on the planet, and subsequently put the uh, what few Kaminoans there were left in the galaxy into dysphoria. But yes, it is a watery planet similar to uh, Pelagon, uh, with which had a platform on it. Uh, <clears throat> And in fact, if you've played, um, uh, what is the, um, I mean, it comes up a bunch in the Republic Commando games, uh, as well as, um, the Clone Wars. It shows up a bunch there, but it's also on the, um, Battlefront. I mean, it may be, but I don't think so. Uh, I know it was on, um, Shoot, what is that? That uh, Bad Batch? No, Star Wars. Well, that event took place in Bad Batch. That's, yeah. That's where you see the attacks. So. Yeah, yeah. No, but there, uh, there is also. Um, well, anyways, I guess that's enough. But there's also a video game that, uh, that had um, Galen in it. Um, that the guy, the guy ended up being a clone of something or other or what i think maybe he was a clone of anakin or something uh and he turned out to be like this super jedi type thing would they have a big battle scene uh, on part two force unleashed For, thank you mm -hmm. force unleashed part two there's a there's a big battle scene there uh, on kaminoa gotcha so it's made it into a lot yeah camino <laughs> so this planet, Camino, it's it's been through a lot. Important things have happened there, and well, there have been some prisoners who've been there that the Empire plans on shipping off of that world. We're going to arrive there at about the time when they're finishing up that transfer and about to take their dungeon ship that will have our bounty, uh, one named Vorin Naal on board and they're going to enter into hyperspace taking them to parts unknown well the main plan here is that we actually manage to dock with that ship before it enters hyperspace we get on board make our way to the bridge use that to find where our bounty is get him get back to our ship release and get out of there do Sounds... we know what Boranal is? Did did you just say Empire? A Empire dungeon ship. Yeah, yeah. It's not going to be fully crewed, but a skeleton crew on a ship that size is a paltry 400 with 200 security. Yeah. Um, and I'm there's to how many of us? Plans. Uh, I mean, how organized is this transfer likely to be? With on a ship that big, they're probably moving a lot of people in, right? So, might it be a little chaotic? Or from what I heard, the Empire is not using Camino anymore as a prison. Yeah, so it if, seems like they're just shuffling them off world. So, so if they're, they're shipping them everybody. off, they're just abandoning Camino. Well, we probably don't want to pose as prisoners. That could make things a little more difficult. Huh? Right. And going up against that many 
should something happen, that's clearly definitely, problematic. Yeah, definitely yeah. not. Yeah. Okay. Do we know what Vornall is? Yes. Yeah, do we have a yeah, on the picture? data pad, you've got a, a picture of him. Take He's human. That. Yeah, and I like, show that what to everybody. Species is he? I didn't hear what race he was if it was said. Human. Okay. Dre, okay. you're going you to, to make sure we weren't that. trying to like rush a hut. Uh, oh, yeah. You're going <laughs> to need to tell me those four points. Colin, be careful. <laughs> you're talking over people. Oh. Nothing says rushing like. <laughs> like a slimy slither through the ship. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never know he was <laughs> taking this direction. <laughs> As they follow the slime. Right. We're doomed. How do they find me? <laughs> uh, yeah, really sure. Uh, we, oh. we do have the floor plans of the ship that we're going to be boarding. Uh, it's got lots of weaponry, so we have to approach it uh, carefully doing everything we can to kind of stay off its radar so that we can even connect to it before it jumps. That's going to be tough. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I can pull off some maneuvers and my, my baby's good. She, she can fly. You've, you've seen her do it, but uh, that's going to be a tough maneuver. So I'm going to need all hands on deck in case something goes wrong and we just have to get in there all dirty and uh, fighting people. Of course. If, oh, come on. If Han can do it, you can do if it. If we can kill them, we can make it just look like a rebel attack and erase all footage of us. Yeah, I mean, that we... that will leave evidence for him to see later, but yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. That's that's going to be an option if, if things go south. What, what were you going to say, Nassar? Uh We should bring some extra clothes for our uh, person of interest to change into so right. he doesn't whatever they have the prisoners wearing. I need to go shopping before we leave. I don't suppose it's possible to get uniforms of the guards. Well, it's not I'm sorry, I looked that... to Owen. <laughs> It's not something yeah, I... that uh, he offered, but Owen, you got more than one spare uh, uniform in your in your luggage. Yeah, sorry, I only have what I deserve with. Right. Besides the blaster rifle, I bought at one point. Okay. That can still, that can still be helpful. Okay. Unless you can. Unless some of you can fit and disguise yourselves as stormtroopers, I don't see any of the alien races being able to pass off as officers or any Imperial personnel. I don't, I don't think, think I can get my head into a stormtrooper helmet. Same. I'm a little short for a stormtrooper. <laughs> true. It's actually true. And furry. Um, well... That could be fine because there's going to be still thousands. Uh, it's estimated uh, probably under 4,500, but probably getting close to that. We're talking a very large ship, and this is all that it does, apparently. So uh, if we have Owen, uh, he could be moving some of us from one place to the other while we're traipsing through the ship. That could be some cover that we could use because the rest of us are not human. And that would mean that we'd have to probably get a few extra pairs of binder cuffs for all of us to uh, to wear, pretending that we're locked I, up if we want to go that route. I got that one pair the bounty hunter used. Right. Could go for a few more, just in case we need them for other purposes, of course. Uh, um we could find more about aboard the ship if uh maybe owen knows where they might be holding the cuffs or cuffs like that what class is this dungeon ship hey. looking at the plan sam lichter uh, it's called a lichter class uh dungeon ship basically lichter i'm sorry class. i got major lax back there what? 
Lichter class. Lichter class, thank you. Because I kind of made your lag spike as soon as y'all started talking. That's fine. Yes. Electric class, huh? Uh, I'll work over the floor plans for it and see if I can find out a good route. Because we're going to need to have to also shut off security. Right. Yeah, he was suggesting that we make our way to the bridge because you're going to have control over just about anything that you need, including information on uh, prisoner locations. So we get there, slice into the system, do what we need to do, get Vorin, get out of there, which I think is pretty good, unless once we get on there, we find some other more direct way or some way that's maybe less guarded because... I'm thinking there's probably going to be some individuals on the bridge. So, uh, yeah, well, a lot of yeah, this we might have to play probably, by ear. Yeah. So how do we take there's the bridge and still remain At least the officer, the commanding officer, and probably some people to help steer the ship. I can probably, when we get on there, I can probably see if we can commandeer the bridge of shutting off the beams and the guns he also let us know that there are going to be tractor beams attached to this ship i'm thinking we try to deactivate those before we leave just in case they get wise good idea especially yeah on the, uh... Extraction uh, point. The controls for that should be. So, how do we bridge. both get on the bridge and avoid detection? Okay, hold on one second. Colin, please make sure you can see everybody. Uh, I mentioned it in chat. I mentioned it during game. You're talking over people. So, I need you to watch that. Okay, can you see everybody? Yeah. Okay, if you, if you can see That's everybody, can. if you can see everybody, wait to make sure no one's talking before you jump in. Okay, buddy? Thank you. Okay, game on. So how do we take the bridge and remain undetected, both? We could convince those that are on the bridge to get off of the bridge temporarily. Owen, oh, would there be any reason to do that according to Imperial policy that you know of? Just <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's also having some, some <laughs> issues with his, his internet connection. That was the wrong question to ask. Yeah. <laughs> just no pride out of there. <laughs> Colin, do you have do you have that um, that Wi-Fi booster connected to your computer that I bought you when you're out in Tennessee? Uh, no. That's the problem. <laughs> you need to go find that and put that back in. Obviously, not right now, but that you I'll need to make sure that happens. That. Mm -hmm. I'll have to ask them all about that because I don't remember what happened to it. Okay. So it sounds like the only the only way I can think of to do this would be to actually stage a full jailbreak, like a riot. Let everybody out. That well, would be we get our guy out of the crowd. Nice, some yeah. nice chaos. Doubt we would get the bonus though, but it is an option. I mean Perhaps I'm going to be real with you, getting 40000 would be really nice. <clears throat> well, okay, the, the other thing I can think of is if we can just find a terminal, we can probably find him without taking the bridge. We just need access to the internal computer system. There have to be guard stations all over the ship. Right. Okay. We don't have uh, plans, like uh, blueprints for the ship, do we? So oh, we yeah. More plans, but do the they layout? include access points, Jerry? Yeah, that's that's a, that's a part of the plans. Yeah, it it, it okay. tells you where basically how the floors are laid out, uh, where security, uh, you know, their their posts are at. Uh, it tells you where the special secure floor is at. Uh, you know, it's it's literally the whole layout of the ship. So, what if we were to um, find the closest access point from where we're going to dock? Right. We leave Montaigne there to access everything and to also keep an eye because we're not going to be able to hear 
you know, for noticed or, or whatever, he would be the first one to get that information as he stayed in the system. Okay. We might be able to leave the dock with him, but so he's not there completely by himself. But with you being of your height, you'd be easier to hide. I don't think we can count on the dock since Anthony's not here. But... Okay. Yeah, he's he's <laughs> not not available for this mission. Sorry, dude, your character got killed on guard duty. <laughs> well, yeah, he said he's going to be out uh, for a month, so All right. Uh, so he's literally not here for this mission, this op. Okay. All right. So first off, let me just ask: Is everyone willing to go along with this mission? It kind of sounds like we are, but I just wanted to make sure. I think it's a suicide yeah. mission, but no, this is this sounds like uh, <laughs> what I used to do. <laughs> well, that's promising. I think actually, we should, I think we should leave the riot as a last resort. Yeah, yeah, that's a play it by ear thing, but uh, I'll be right back, guys. Okay. Um, as long as I can go get some up. Updates for T4 now that we're back before we go. Um, is, you know, I'm good. Right. Okay. Is T4 able to... So, out of question, is T4 able to go off the ship with us? Is he, is he going to be kind of like RDD2? Yeah. That can, That's what okay, I'm going to So, he can put the... Okay. So, he can actually do the access point. Okay. Okay. So, actually, the, the thing I'm going to go buy when I get it... One of the things I'm going to go buy is... Uh, some security skill for him so he can hack through firewalls. Okay. He can he can hack like a like a crazy man, but he doesn't have any security skill yet, so I'm going to fix that. But I also have 5D in security, so between the two of us <laughs> should nice. Okay. Um all right. So are are you okay, Mont Montin? Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, you and, and your droid being on your own why we yeah. I don't like it. But... <laughs> well I just feel better if we have, we won't have, well, sort of eyes and ears as we're moving through. Yeah, let's, like, let's study the plans in route. Um, let me do my shopping. Yeah. We'll figure it out in route, see if there's a place that we can find where I can access the system, you know, that's probably, you know, that I can lock off, basically. Right. If I can close the blast doors, we're fine. Um which okay. may mean you have to rescue me if they figure that out. But, uh, um, okay. Yeah, let's go. I agree. Everybody get what we need on planet before we head to the station to get on the ship. And we all split apart, <laughs> get our stuff. I'm ready to get on the ship. I've been on flat ground too long. <laughs> what did I miss? That uh, we're going to uh, talk about the plans while we're in route. Right now, we're getting stuff before we take off, especially okay. getting some things for T4 so that hacking into the ship is easier. Okay. Um, and pick up some clothes for our bounty. Well, that's not a problem. Right. Okay. Okay. So then, yeah, we uh, do a little bit of shopping uh, and then get to our ship and head into hyperspace. Jerry, All I'm putting right. together the list of what I want. Um, basically skill wear for T4 and I'm also buying restraining bolts and remote control systems. Okay. I might steal me a security droid while we're there. Nice. Okay. Hey, I want my own canine SO too. Okay. So. <laughs> oh boy. We're going to have our own army of droids. You're welcome. Yeah. Please do not. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay. 
where are you sending it to me at? Uh, I, I haven't sent it yet because I'm like, I got the book over here. Oh. Um, so I'm piecing it together because it's all on different pages. But oh, okay. Cool. No problem. I guarantee I have the money. <laughs> like, I've, I've got it. I'm just going to send it to you in a second. I'm buying four restraining bolts, a George remote control system, um, and some uh, security skill wear, uh, which should be 150 per D, I think. Um, yeah, it's technical. So 150 per D. Uh, I could blow 900 on that. Let's get 60 of uh, security. <laughs> nice. Okay. Trade. Plus, I have yeah. to talk to you after the game because I think I we, we need to talk about the droid purchase system because I just found something and I might need to re refigure based on a, a little part of a paragraph I found. So okay. I'll send did it to you. Give us, did he give us a timeline and, as to when we are supposed to return? We return as soon as we can, but before actually coming directly back, he has actually made sure that we'll have a type of smuggler's base in Elrude. We have that on the pad here as well. We head there first so that if anybody's on our tail, it makes it more difficult for them to track us directly back here. So we stay there, lay over for about a day, make sure no one's tracking us, and then we come here. Okay. Okay. Just like we did on Ferrix, after Ferrix. Effectively, right. But now we just have our own special spot where we can do that on our own. Excellent. That is nasty as hell. He has a security of 90. Nice. Nothing is secure. <laughs> War never changes. <laughs> he has a base tech. I have a base technical of 3D on him, so buying six levels. Yeah. Awesome. Which means he's much better at hacking locks than he is at abstrication. <laughs> well, I mean, um, gotta start somewhere. Jeremy, I'll, I'll send you that his sheet right now, too, so you have it before we do anything. Sure. All right, that's in Facebook. Okay. Nope. Done. So you've so taken a couple hours to buy whatever you might need, uh, some extra clothing uh, for the for the the target. Uh, obviously, the ship and everything has been restocked. So you guys take a shuttle uh, when you're ready. Uh, so, quick question: Is everybody ready? Uh, is there anything else you want to pick up, or anything you think you might need? Probably just clothes that actually fit her since she's lost so much weight. Okay. I'll just say goodbye to my son. <laughs> Again? <laughs> well, it's been five months, so it's, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, she's been with him for five months straight. Right. So Maybe work oh, on my meditation was, while we're waiting. That was the other thing that you guys didn't uh, realize. Uh, there's a there's a Nexu here. A what, Sue? <laughs> a Nexu. What is that? Bless you. <laughs> yes, oh. I was going to say Kazoo tight. Yeah, one second. Unless Brittany wants to share the image, because I think you have it too. Uh, I would have to dig it up. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, I've got it. So let me grab this here real quick. Uh, for those of you who are fans of the Old Republic, it's also appeared in some other games too. Um, this uh it is image address let's do it that way since it's causing problems there we go Boink. oh oh boy yes them and how how tall is it they Did are uh, have one of those? Oh, they they have uh so they are four-legged feline with kind of a reptilian looking kind of twin tail split tail uh some they're cute. A little bit of qu uh, quills coming off the back. They've got four eyes. Uh, they are predatory creatures that are found on several different types of planets. They are effectively like a wild, uh, like a lion or a tiger. A big predatory wild cat. 
with shark-like and we teeth. As a pet. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, the uh, the it, it's a, it, it apparently is a house pet that belongs to Nasara's son. Oh, I see. And uh, this particular oh. Nexu is about three feet at the shoulders. Ah, <laughs> big boy. He went on a hunting expedition with his aunt and came home with a pet. Oh. Well. That's a nice. bit of a... Uh, it took a little getting used to. I did have one question from what Drade was told about the, the armaments on the, the ship. You said two on the front and four on each side. Does that... They, it, does it look thin enough that like there's, is that the sides and not the top and bottom? I'm trying to figure out if there's an approach we could make that would not be in their fire arcs. Uh, if you're looking at it that way, presuming you guys are, you know, going over this as you guys are in flight, uh, basically there are two on the top, two on the bottom, and they they would go, they would they would have okay. probably a 180 uh, arc, so they could they could protect behind. Uh, but obviously, it would only be like you know, two on top, firing behind it, so on and so forth. So, it's got most vectors uh, mm. taken care of. It's just, it's a prison ship, so it's it's not like it's going to be. Uh, it, it's not it, it's it's not meant for combat. They're they're there, you know. As you, if if they're having to fend something off, something's already gone horribly wrong. Um, and in fact, the. Uh, Notes on the ship. Um, uh, they, since they do have the cannons, uh, it, uh, the cannons, however, fire slowly. Uh, they can um, they can only be used once per uh, once per fiery arc. Uh, so, for example, like it's even though they're capital ship guns, you know, if you're on one side and they've already fired, well, then you have to wait till next round until they can fire again. Its fire control system is not designed to try and get into an extended firefight. Got it. Okay. Hopefully it won't come to that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to show Drain what I figured out messing with the ship about turning off the transponder and like we're going to try to cast no shadow as we approach this thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I remember you have that uh, that transponder scrambler too. Yeah, right. That okay. was built in, so it has three. It has three preloaded vessels, basically that it can, quote unquote, identify as. Okay. If you shut it off, obviously, then you're not. It's not transmitting anything, which is suspicious as all get out. Right. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Well, you think there'd be a way to actually uh, approach it without it even noticing us? Is there some way we can disguise the ship? <laughs> no. I you mean we... physically or? <laughs> well, like, they're, they're still going to detect like an object right yeah potentially mm -hmm. is there any way to get is there any way to scramble those sorts of sensors like cloaking uh, tech there well so there is no cloaking tech available that you're aware of uh, if there is uh it would be very 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 underground like experimental military uh, type tech uh, is there a way to scramble their sensors? Um, why don't why doesn't somebody um, anybody who has it? Uh, I believe you can use. Um, ah, I'm in the wrong window. Hold on a second. Space transport repair. No. Dang it. You just need to <laughs> tie a whole bunch of skeletons onto the bow. Oh right, right. Make yourself look like uh, the Reaver. <laughs> Reaver. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Huh. Let me get back to the. Uh, I've, I've seen that done before, and it was, you know, successful. 
Uh, there is, isn't there sensors on here? I thought there at least there was at one point in time. Uh, yes, it's under mechanical. Okay, cool. Thank you. Oh, I have that. How about that? <laughs> so anybody want to roll for sensors, you certainly could. I might as well. I've got it. You're going to need, not my best trait. <laughs> you're going to need to get a uh, moderate or higher. Oh, that's impossible. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I don't know, guys. I can't help here. <laughs> You're supposed to be our guru. <laughs> Wrong oh. category. Mm -hmm. What the hell happened? I think Colin got it, though. I got 13. Nice. Good job, Colin. Colin saves the day. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not no, wow. you did a 2D. You didn't put the 6, put the six for the 2D. Oh. the 2D. Yeah, you rolled 2D plus 1. Yeah. <laughs> That dang sheep. I know, right? Okay, that's better. Okay, not enough, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Colin gets it. Just... Um, the Imperial adjutant. <laughs> yes. So you would know that uh, when ships tend to start breaking uh, atmosphere. When obviously they're having they're they're dealing with getting out of the atmosphere and getting into space, there is a small window of opportunity that you could potentially set. Um, you don't really have scrambling systems in this, but if you projected just junk, you know, broadcasting base basically sensory junk, you could make it look like it was just a problem breaking atmo. Give, in essence, giving you some plausible deniability. Yeah, he just tells uh, Montan this. Well, Montan and Drade. Huh. Okay. Static. At the same time, we're going through the atmosphere. Yeah, that wouldn't... Uh, that would be cutting it close, because it doesn't take long. But it's probably doable. And it's not like there's any asteroid field nearby or a junk field. I don't think Kamido is littered with satellites overhead either, so I'm not sure any of that would work. Yeah, unless anybody else has a better idea, the inter-atmosphere docking might be the way to go. Not my area. Oh my gosh, I want one of those. I want a loth cat for the ship. Inter atmosphere too. things, how the Empire managed to ambush a lot of things. So, well, that's all I need to hear. If it's a good ambush technique that keeps getting used, let's go ahead and use it back on them. So, we'll make sure to be ready for that once we actually get there. We'll probably want to approach from the other side of the planet so that they don't immediately recognize that we're there. Use that as cover. And then as they're entering the atmosphere, trying to leave, we'll know that that means they're done. We follow them, broadcast the static and junk, and dock where we can. Before we get there, we should know exactly where we want to dock to make it easy for us to slip on board as easily and as unnoticed as possible. Colin, yeah. you have tactics, right? Yeah, I got tactics. It sounds like your area. <laughs> yeah, my I got foreign tactics. So oh, would you so good. would you like to roll that then? Sure. I'll roll too, because I have that too. Oh, good. Damn it. Oh no! I, I have a reroll. Oh, yeah, def definitely use that. So then re-roll that. <laughs> I will. Hey, does anybody need a re-roll, by the way? 16. It sounds like Colin needs one. <laughs> and okay. 15, yeah, go ahead and get Colin, it. Colin, it sounds like Colin could use another one. He he uh, rolled good on this one, but... Yeah. So add a 16. 16 puts you into difficulty. That is definitely the uh, better range. So Colin... Um, you lay out a trajectory that if Drade manages to stick to, uh, it's going to put the, uh, it will, based upon the plan of throwing static junk, just basically just 
kind of kind of uh, poor man scramble, uh, and the trajectory that you plan out coming, you know, coming into the, uh, you know, connecting connecting with them, and as they're clearing at uh, the atmosphere, if he can stick to it, you sh um, it's sh you should be able to uh, navigate him <coughs> into a blind spot before they clear and clear the atmosphere. All right, he go ahead and tell explains this to Jared and Montan. It's a bit of a poor man's thing, but it's set. But we don't have what the Empire has, so better than nothing. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think we can do that. So that means we do that. We know where to dock. So let's go ahead and uh, plot out once we're in there where we should go, what the uh, shortest route is to the bridge, or if we can find a better spot according to these floor plans to connect to, to have access, if we think that'd be easier rather than trying to empty the bridge. Yeah, I was trying to figure out a good route from wherever we docked to how to get in and out without alerting the entire ship. Uh, that would require a different role. And what role would that be? Another tactics role. Cool. And you did get a re-roll for me. I got a fourteen. Okay. Wow. Uh, so not a not a uh, bad uh, between the two of you. Not not a bad roll. Um, if you are able to come um, if you take a look at the the picture of the vessel right and you come up from behind as it's breaking at uh, atmo you could potentially land on the top and there's you know back towards the engines so that's the um upper side of the vessel and that's right around near the conning tower so if you're able to dock see uh, you know clamp onto it and seal the uh seal to the uh, one of the hatches that are there you could enter through that particular location and that would at least cut down on traversing to the uh, uh you know making a lot of uh, uh traversing the hallways to the the uh, flight deck okay so then drade's looking at it and he points points to it while he's talking to owen and he's like Their command deck but yeah, go ahead. yeah right there i think just behind the conning tower then that's just a hop, skip, and a jump to the flight deck and the command deck, really. That should make it pretty easy. Well, do Docking-wise, yes, the tricky part is not setting off the alarm by any stormtroopers or whoever might else be on the ship. Right. So that's where some little trickery is going to come into play. You've got your suit, your uniform. How many of us could we pass yeah. off as prisoners if that happens, if they actually see us? I don't suppose you know what prisoners would be wearing. Uh, do we have any of that information on the uh, data pad? Uh, actually, no, but um, Owen could roll for it. Will that be bureaucracy? Yeah. Thank, thank God I picked up bureaucracy. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is your day. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ho, ho, ho. Nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, so, Colin, not only do you know uh, what color uh, uniform that they're going to be wearing, they're going to be wearing the white with the orange stripe. Uh, so, basically, it's an all-white kind of jumpsuit with just an orange stripe that comes down uh, <clears throat> on the sides, I should say. Uh, but not only that, but you also uh, know the... Um, uh, you also know the type of naval uniforms that are assigned to this particular ship. I.e. the one Owen deserted with? 
Uh, yes, actually, yours, yours, would, yours would have a... Uh, Adigents wouldn't necessarily be assigned to these types of vessels, um, because, but it's not necessarily uncommon. And because you are... Your uniform is not the... Uh, it, your uniform is not the typical, like, gray and black. Yours is the white. So you would know that with a little bit of tailoring, you could pass, you could possibly pass it off as ISB. All right. ISB is the, is the um, uh, Imperial Security Bureau, which that's, uh, at this point, uh, think of them as like CIA. Yeah. <laughs> so he would theoretically outrank everybody. Yes. The officers on the <laughs> Correct. <team. laughs> okay. It, it, if... If the BS is high enough. <laughs> I got persuasion, investigation, search, and command at five. So. Excellent. The BS okay. is strong with this one. <laughs> Are we in a position where we could come up with uh, like the, something to approximate those prisoner uniforms and then like make them oh, or that adjust was the other, them? That was the other thing I was going to say. Um, it, um, Colin, you would also know with that role that there would be no way, uh, in God's green earth that any prisoner would be brought to this section of the uh, ship. Yeah. There's... So, unif so prisoner uniforms here would, would not fly. They would know something was up. We can't, we can't <laughs> disguise anyone as a prisoner to be transferred here, but... That's too bad. I can tailor my uniform to look like ISB. Um, I'm just going to throw it out there. Um, I, would... I have a, I have a five D in forgery, so. Huh. I would be. Uh... We could be able to pass me off as someone that outranks everyone on that ship. Then could you bring us in as like your attendants? Go in, go in and say you're going to do a review of their security in I, flight. <laughs> I maybe that's not bad. I I could probably bring in Draid, but they're going to know something's up if I brought in a Bothan and two Twi'leks. There's only one Twi'lek. Sorry, I'm Ashley. A tribute out. Sorry, <laughs> Ashley. Um, maybe maybe we are. Don't specialists. insult me. Maybe we are specialists that you've hired. But you're so, not human. Well, so here, so well, here's the thing. If, since you guys have time, uh, and you guys did, you guys did uh, purchase some extra clothing, if all of you had matching uniforms so that you looked like you were some sort of legitimate outfit, the fact that I mean, he's... The fact that he's a like quote unquote or something. well, right. But the fact that he's a quote unquote ISB agent means they're not going to ask many questions. They don't want that kind of ire. Okay, so then what do we pass ourselves off as? A special security team, a special mercenary team, contracted out to check on the security. Special specialists of any kind could work. Security, I mean, you are security specialists. Yeah, security yeah. specialists that I just contracted to overlook the security. While in the meantime, for a, let's say, a prisoner transfer. That means we could just walk into the bridge, uh, and even if people were there, well, yeah. we just have they're to not, check things. They're not going to ask me any questions because they don't want the wrath of the ISB. Okay. I'm liking And I can just tell them I need to transfer this prisoner off the ship as he may be a liability for rebellion attack. I don't think we want to call out his name. Yeah, if we can, leave, they're going to check up on him. If we can distract I, them and make it seem like he never left the ship, that'd be ideal. Why don't? No. Why don't? Here, here's an idea. You go in, 
and tell them we're going to go, we're going to do a review of their security, right? And then you have whatever officers are on the bridge give you a tour of the ship. Um, you know, I'll stay there with T4 and then we can get Drade and Ashijak maybe to, uh, I'll give them directions and they can go free the prisoner. Maybe loop the footage. Well, yeah, that's a, that's the thing is you, between me and the droid, we're gonna, you know, ha hack the heck out of these security systems. Okay. Um, and cover our tracks. We'll shut off shut off outbound comms in the process, which will be at light speed. So, I don't know what they're gonna do at light speed, but, um. So we'll be your we'll be your technical backup, your eye in the sky. You, Owen. Distract them in person, make them show you their security, and uh, Nassara, stay with me. Right. I could probably have my rifle on me since ISP, they're not going to ask questions. I do well, have certain skills that would allow me to move through the ship better than some. Okay. Uh, Colin, keep in I mean, mind that your character would not be wielding a blaster rifle like that. If you're supposed to be ISB, then you would have, like, maybe your blaster, you'd have, like... I would have to have my and blaster whatnot. pistol. Yeah. Okay. You, you're, go you're not going in expecting war, you're going in looking the part. Right. Okay. okay. Probably send one person to back him up, because that would seem reasonable. Right. So, I have a question for you, then, Nasara. Are you able to go with Draid and Owen? And I could stay and protect Montan if need be. I don't want to, I really, um, well, I mean, I know we talked about, you know, leaving him by himself, but I really would prefer him to have some protection. We need, we need three parties here, right? We need Owen and maybe somebody to back him up. That's one party. Me and my droid, that's another party. And then two people to go actually get, uh, oh, what's his name? Boren Nall. The target? Yeah. Because I might be able to remotely open the door for him, but, you know, okay, getting him to the bridge, and who knows about guards in the way. Like I, I just don't okay. think I, I I just question me going with Owen because I mean I it's pretty noticeable even with the hood on. Um Drade? yeah, Drade would be the best bet to go with Owen and we can do that. And I then Nassar and I go and good. get the prisoner. Along with Nasara, Nasara, you're saying you have skills that help enlighten us. What what can you do? Um, I'm good at not being seen, and I'm so good very at very helpful. <laughs> In what way? What 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 do yeah. you do? I I'm, you know, I kind of grew up sort of in the in the underworld, and I'm that's it's just ah. a, a skill that I've developed. Okay. That's great, actually. And to Gr Grutus, we are natural at camouflaging. So we can kind of move. So maybe being... the two of us go extract our target? That would work. You two would go get the target, and then since you would be there, the goal would be to get him directly to our ship because you two are good at staying undetected and while you're moving so, uh we need to make sure that uh, owen is keeping everyone else busy i am with him helping to keep them busy or backing them up if need be and at the same time we got t4 and montan guiding you ladies along with your bounty to make sure you don't run into any hostiles while you're getting them to our ship and once that happens kind of we can all reconvene what kind of clothing did we get him we don't need to change him until he's off the ship. True. We're not going to camouflage him on the ship. The guards will know who each other are. That's true. He would be more out of place, not dressed as a prisoner than he would. But if the two of you look like 
the you know if you're caught and you look like the ISB's personal security people, you know you can I don't know tell the guards that you were you're going to interrogate this prisoner. And get out of your way. There you go. We can figure something out if that happens, but the goal will be to guide you around those obstacles if possible. Okay. Okay. I like it. It sounds great. Does everybody understand what we're doing? Yes. Yep. I can go on Nassar my uh, cape and uniform to turn into an ISB uniform. Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, let's get those other uniforms made. Make sure that we all look the part. We all uh, are together as the same unit working for our uh, ISB friend. Wink, wink. I would wink, but it's not something my race does. Awkward. Pretend I'm winking. So, so Dre just looks right at you and he goes, wink, wink. <laughs> I'm like, Never do that again. <laughs> Luckily, I have uh, a dark side point in case I ever have to go full Imperial on the guards. Okay, so I want everybody to, uh, who's working on it anyways, everybody give me a, give me a simple dexterity check as you guys are putting together uh, a matching outfits. Okay, simple dexterity. So, would I just roll the one six or both? Just the one. Because no, the first Colin, die is the you wild die. Colin, you wouldn't roll anything. You've got a uniform. Roll. Oh. I think I should re-roll. Oh, sorry. I got, I got 11. Okay. Do I need to re-roll? I don't know. It's uh, up to you. Or oh, should know. I use my re-roll enough? later? So, Brittany botches. Okay. 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 I'll stay hey, re roll. Oh. Nope. Nobody can give you another one. Well, I just, I mean, I guess they could. Okay. So, where we're at, I, I'm, you'll have to wait at this point. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, <laughs> so the outfits on your first pass. Uh, um, Ashi Jocks looks okay. Basically, you guys are going for a simple gray jumpsuit uh, with tool belts and, and whatever have you. Keep trying to keep it simple. Um, and unfortunately, like the equipment that Nasara has gets in the way, uh, you know, of the particular <laughs> outfit. That, uh, that that she has or something along those lines like it's it's not quite fitting like it should uh, for Montans uh, it's the exact same way but it's way too baggy you know so it's like maybe they should probably switch up you know at this point because his is like way too loose uh, and hers is like probably it's too tight to be. in the chest it's cursed to be area. blessed <laughs> Lieutenant, you are almost out of uniform. I know. <laughs> Down Periscope. <laughs> that was that was a good movie. It was a very good movie. Yeah, it's a curse to be blessed, isn't it, Nasara? Mm -hmm. Indeed. Comes in handy sometimes. So, but, uh, uh, why does it Nasara things. and Montan? I mean, you guys got a week to plan this out, so roughly. Uh, so, Nasara and roll Montan, again. go ahead and roll again. Yep. <laughs> I'm not getting any more dexterity as we go. <laughs> wow. You did it again. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, you, you, you didn't put in the six. No, 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 no I didn't. Oh, okay. no, you didn't put in the six. Yeah. That thing gets us every time. I did better. There you go. Okay. Maybe one of us. Uh, needs to do so his Montan's uniform. fit still isn't quite that great, but it's way better than where he was at. Uh, uh, Nasara's at this point is a little bit more like the uh, uh, the three bears. You know, she finally found one that fits just right. Um. Do you want me to roll my forgery? 
what yes, are you, what are you angling? Tree. So for forgery, what are you angling for? Um, authenticity. Well, no. What? So, like, what are you putting together? Just like a official paperwork. A good. Well, looking... does, are you saying forgery has to be like paperwork kind of forgery? Uh, in most or cases, yes. Like... But it can, you know, if you if you have the appropriate skills, it could be a data, you know, like forging, uh, quote unquote, documents like DocuSign. Okay. No. I figured it might stretch to something like this. Like well, if you're trying, if you're trying to make official paperwork, yes, it could. Maybe um, for our know, ISB like agent? badges, oh, badges, yeah, or um, like yeah, any necessary rank, paperwork that we might have to kind of markings. Uh, yeah. got a again. You've got still. I mean, it's possible to pull so yeah if you're trying to get um <laughs> official temp badges of the uh, of the empire sure kind of like temp badges that some corporate offices might have yeah there you go oh but you blew up ah we rolled that six yay 18. 18 good job nice nice good job okay so with that idea in play, uh, this is this is probably why her outfit didn't fit uh, right the first time around. She was busy working on the other idea. Uh, you had a eureka moment sort of thing. Uh, and that puts you at 18. Ah, firmly yeah. in the difficult category. Nice. Okay, so you come up uh, with you don't come you don't come up just with uh, temp badges. You come up with uh, corpsec badges. <laughs> there we go. Nice, nice. And it, because you got a, a decent look at them from from the planet of Ferrix, and so you're like, okay, I can go with that, and that would make a little bit more sense, even though yeah. the Empire, you know, thinks very lowly of court, you know, corpsec. Uh, it would still make a, a, a much more logical jump. That's like, okay, well. You know, I, I guess these fringers, you know, are who the you know who the ISB is bringing in to try and prove a point or or whatever. So, and when you get done with it, yeah, even you sit back and go like, okay, I, I mean, it's not going to stand up being scanned, but wow, yeah, I, I need to start an Etsy page. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are they really going to scan us if we walk in with the? An uh, oh, yeah, probably not. No, no, right. <laughs> Again, yeah. it's it's a matter of. You know, you're you have somebody pointing the political gun at you. So long as, as something doesn't go totally awry, most people are going to do the whole like I don't want to look at them, I don't want to have to deal with them sort of thing. I, ISB is scary. Okay. All right. Anything else? Maybe one of you guys can help me with my outfit because tailoring is not my thing. I was going to sure. say, maybe one of us needs to help him. You know what? It's, I, I, it's I always will, tricky to fit yourself. I, I will help out, but I'm I'm going to use the force. I could I'm gonna build a sewing drawer. You're going to use the right. force on gonna, his outfit? That's right, because I'm going to concentrate first so that then, with that concentration... Oh, make the best outfit. Gotcha. I thought you were spending... dying to use his new I, stuff. I thought you were using a, just a, a force point. I'm like, okay, uh, wow. <laughs> Yoda needs to come out of the grave and just slap you for that one. <laughs> He's got like lightsaber crochet. Knitting though. lessons, do you not? <laughs> oh. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, all right, so I made the easy check for. Uh, concentration, so that's going to add four dice to dexterity. Still think it's funny that you're using the force to basically, you know, Luke is trying to use the force to thread the needle to bomb the Death Star. You're trying to use the force. You're like, I need to put this line to the button hook. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> that's, funny. <laughs> that's a lot of ones. But that's 16. a lot of ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all I want. At least but... it wasn't it wasn't the wild yeah. guy. Right. Okay. 
So with the uh, with the badge and the tailor work that you end up doing uh, to Mont to Montan's outfit, now it looks way way better than than what it's from. Now you guys nice. actually look like some corp some corp set goons who the ISB has pulled into you know a surprise inspection. Drayden, I would never have guessed that he taught you sewing in that cave. <laughs> You'd be surprised what we you know. I, I the force is capable of, of many things. <laughs> the nights were long and cold. <laughs> Wait till we cook. Yeah. Force lightning. <laughs> Am I lurk anyone? So okay. everybody is oh. now set. Then ready to go. Uh, flavor note: yeah. when when the people when the other two of you who didn't go to the planet jump on the ship, Montana has a little garden with a heat lamp of stuff oh, right. he brought from the Jedi planet. He's got a little spice and vegetable garden going on. Nice. Oh, okay, gotcha. I learned how to farm. <laughs> <laughs> Herbs and spices. That's great with the pace that we have on board. Awesome. Yes, it is. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good use of time. All right. So, uh, eventually you drop out of light speed. Uh, passing over the far side of Camino, uh, uh, with the understanding that they were somewhere near uh, Topoca City, uh, so that way you can try and vector your approach to come up from behind. Yep. Who is going to make the sensors check? Not I. That's no. <laughs> Sounds like an Owen job. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I think that's an Owen job. Okay, why did here I, you I lied hard. What? I, what? Sensors. We did a roll. Do you, I, ha, do I you have, sensors? have sensors? No. Oh, Wait, somebody I had have a three mechanical. Yeah, I thought oh. somebody had sensors. I do, but I only have it in 2D. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm 2D plus one. Oh. So, droid yeah. have sensors? No. <laughs> Who has I guess I'll roll mechanical? sensors. Oh, I, I guess nice. he's got nice. a base please mechanical three D. Nice. So, yeah, we're gonna let the droid. Oh, I forgot the six again. Yeah. Stinking. Please be nice. Please be nice. I mean, I'll roll. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. That couldn't have gone much better. Go <laughs> um, ahead and roll yeah. and see what you get, Owen. So, Owen, you have three D, right? Yeah. You got a 10. So we will go with Brittany's roll. So Brittany, you sit down and you try setting up some just garbled basic jamming. Putting it putting it out there on a broadcast. All right. Well, let's take a look and see. They're able to break through it. Meanwhile, Drade, make your piloting check to try and uh, drop in undetected. Right. On that vectored approach. Going to once again concentrate first. Give myself that boost. And yeah, that already gets me in that range. Oh. You're going to need, uh, your, uh, for this particular approach, you're going to need difficult or higher. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh but he shit. got a one. Uh, I'm gonna reroll. I'm gonna better reroll. Okay. Oh, oh god. Oh, good. oh man. Good oh, idea. that yeah. sucks. That was a good roll. Twenty one. Except for the one. Oh, that's better. I like that better. Twenty nine. Okay. Dale, are you gonna need a new reroll? Yeah, I'm at zero right now. <laughs> okay. There you go. Thank you. Montan's hanging on. <laughs> okay, so as you are broadcasting at this point uh, at the highest power wattage that you can for your uh, uh, just to se send off signals as, as junk uh, and background noise, um, you you get the uh, Nasara, you get the gut feeling that they're 
but because this is a capital ship, uh, the approach is great, but this may not be enough. Um, is there anything that we can do to just push us over the edge? Uh, you can attempt to boost the signal. Uh, boost the signal one more time. So if somebody has a um, higher uh, mechanical to make that roll. For sensors. Who has a really high mechanical? Let me look. Well, if you have uh, a mechanical but no sensors, do you just roll mechanical? Yeah. yeah. Or I just are have you a able? Or is, this, or is it like a cyberpunk thing where you're no, like you down? Can, no, okay. you can make the you can make the roll at. In this case, all you're really doing is you're trying to tune in a station on the radio. Oh yeah, all I have is a two D, so I can't help. The droid has a three D. <laughs> Colin, what do you have? A 3D, but when I rolled, I got a 10. Well, you can try again. rolling again. I mean, yeah, try rolling oh, again. Oh, you got it again again? Well, this isn't a comparison of rolls, guys. I just need to decide who's going to make the roll first. So, do we want the okay, droid to try it now, or do Let's we want try Owen to try it? Let's try the droid. Okay. Okay. Mike, go ahead and roll. Oh, okay. This was a good idea. Yes. All right. Good good idea, guys. Good that plan. Um, Reroll that six. I'm working on it. <laughs> Four more. Nice. 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 Okay. So at this point, uh, you have put out a, a... You actually have to turn... You have to turn off the uh, in-cabin uh, volume uh, because it's a very loud squelch that sounds like uh, uh, scratching down a chalkboard mixed with like white noise. So like, like getting on the internet in the 90s? Worse, but yeah. <laughs> like basically you're murdering your phone. AOL, <laughs> essentially. Yep. So you quickly turn that down and, and it's just you know, squelching. And of course, Drade at this point like threads that needle you know, to uh, you know, bringing it in for a touchdown. Touchdown. <laughs> touchdown. Bring it. <laughs> I had the points. I'd play it. <laughs> I'm gonna save my points this time. Unbred it. <laughs> That's okay. I played it for you. I'm saving my reroll. So, <laughs> unbred it. <laughs> touchdown on paper. Unbred it. So yes, there you go. Sweet. Uh, so you have touched down on the ship. Uh, at this point, you, the the coupler has attached to the uh, outer shell of the uh, capital ship at this point, and you're just waiting for the pressurization uh, to take a hold so you can open up your ship uh, and then you know step inside, walk this way, pop the latch, hey, hey. Uh, that's going to take some some work though, because you're trying to pop it from the outside. So you're definitely going to want Montan for that. Okay. As this ha is happening, Owen is getting ready for when it opens, just sealing himself to bullshit the ISB. Back. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. What what kind of role is this? A security or? Yes. Twenty-two. Woohoo! Look at that. <laughs> so he's pulling a Matthew Broderick here out of war games, and he's grabbing like medical utensils and attaching it to you know to diodes and whatnot on circuit boards on the outside, and then pulls a tape recorder out and you know has it replay the last the last you know several key digits or whatnot there sort of thing, and and. Pops open without even having to force it. So long as these connections, uh, so long as these connections maintain, it's not going to trip any sort of an alarm. Remember, Owen, if they're surprised to see us, it shows a hole in their security and thus enforces our need to, the ISPs need to have a review. So you've got the advantage here. Yep, I understand that. Well, may the force be with you. Thank you. 
All right, let's do and, this, everybody. And don't threaten to beat up the guy at the front counter. Damn it, Jerry. <laughs> He's going to do like a, a, a Jedi-like fist bump to, to Draid. He'll arrest us for trespassing. Just like we are. Oh, no. Damn it, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Everybody starts to descending down into the uh, into the ship at this point. Is anybody staying back with the blue saber? Uh, I think we're all needed, aren't we? Okay. Mm -hmm. The dock. <laughs> yeah, the dock. Yeah, technically, if he's there. Yeah, he is actually not there. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, okay, so uh, you at this point have to uh, the way the ship has has landed. You actually have to. Um, uh, T4 actually has to be lowered into uh, where this airlock is at because obviously it's not designed to uh, take droids. It's for people climbing in and out. So astromech droids, not friendly for getting in or out, but it's not like it can't move around. So everybody can gets we, down. Can we? I was going to say, could we use telekinesis on it? I mean, you absolutely could if you wanted to go that route. I figured you would have just lowered it with a, a a pulley system yeah uh, like rather, if, if we just rather than strain like yourself yeah right pulley system, yeah, if, pulley if, we, system. if we have that it's then yeah not, uh, yeah. Those force points. not seem suspicious <laughs> yep. of the force <laughs> it hovers wow we have the technology <laughs> I, i've got to buy him those r2 little jets and it's just like hey fly oh down. yeah 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 there you go yep. we, have, we, we have certain skills <laughs> Uh, but you step down. Basically, it's in this uh, small pressurized chamber uh, uh, cabin. Uh, obviously, specifically designed for people to come out uh, as like an emergency hatch or or, or whatnot. Or uh, what did they call them in uh, the, the Acolyte, the mech necks? Yeah. I think that was the term that they used. So basically, maintenance. Mechnic. Mechnic, whatever. Like mechanic without the middle syllable. Uh, there you go. Yeah, uh, so you're gonna power. Uh, you're gonna have the power of many going on the inside. Uh, anyways, but yes, you come back through. You you access. Well, of course, you shut uh, the door in front of you. Let it reseal and pressurize, and then step back through the uh, uh, the door. At this point, there's no one uh, actively in the hallway. You can hear the. Uh, low thrums of the engine, the the massive capital engines, uh, just on the other side from where you're at. Down below a couple decks, but they're big, so uh, it is just a hallway from here that goes left or right. I'd like to get my hands on her juicy nacelles. Wait, wrong <laughs> franchise. <laughs> <laughs> wow, That's what it is. this just went this went um, way past PG. <laughs> do we do we need to find out the commanding officer of this ship just so we're in, in case that's information that you need to pull out that would, would be wise you would, yes you would be expected to know who it is that's in charge you would right? yes yeah do we have that on our data pad unfortunately no okay can montan find that out uh, if he finds a terminal to jack into uh, with T4, he absolutely could. And that's what we're going for anyway, right? Yes, I mean, and you do have the floor plans available uh, in your, your data pad. That's part of the plan. Let's go find the closest one. Yep. All right. And we would already know where the closest one is. Right. We would have gone From here, route. 100%. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we just move slow and quietly. Like Slow and place. low, that is the tempo. Boy, I'm just full of it tonight, aren't I? Good lord. <laughs> you really are. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right. So uh you find so from here you follow the map, you take basically take a right from where you're at. Uh again, because it's a skeleton crew, you know that this particular section of the ship. Uh, doesn't have much here. You do have security cameras, so you're going to have to look the part at this point. You already know where those are all coming in at. Uh, but with a couple of turns from where you're at, 
uh, you end up finding uh, what is essentially uh, the uh, the maintenance bay. There is no one here currently. Uh, and I mean, like when you walk in, the lights automatically kick on. There's it's uh, it looks like it's probably a backup uh, maintenance bay for, again, people who might need to you know, the mechanic, whatever. Uh, but people who might need to come through here. Uh, and it's a skeleton crew, so obviously it's not in use at this moment. Let's plug in. Okay. So T4 rolls up, kind of chirps and pulls out that, uh, uh, pulls out, what is it called? It's not a droid socket. It's the... Um, Scop link. Scop link. There we go. Thank you. Uh, and jabs that into the system, starts rotating and starts trying to uh, gain access to the system. Go ahead and give a roll. What are we doing? Uh, security or computer program repair? Uh, security. Slicing in. Check this out, guys. This is going to be fun. As long as it doesn't come with a wild die one. 29. Nice. <laughs> nice. Wow. wow. That was almost heroic. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, that's that's pretty much what what R2 does. He just jacks into stuff and, and finds finds things. Right. You know, <laughs> it's just that's kind of how he goes. Yeah. He's a digital klepto. Yep. <laughs> now we just need to get a C-3PO so he can stay with the ship. Right. I think I am the C-3PO. <laughs> I mean, was he really, was he look really more trouble than now. he was? I am C-3PO. <laughs> I am the C-3PO. <laughs> Less trouble than he was worth. Almost. So yeah, I want to get... Smarter one. I want to get the entire uh, ship's crew, the entire ship's... Uh, or Yeah, the entire ship's crew and... Um, uh records of like where they've been where they're going things like that like the, okay the certain level stuff sure yeah don't uh, forget the uh, prisoner uh, list. Uh, yeah, yeah prisoner find out where our prisoner is at. Is now when we want to try to find uh, we should get that now let's get that i rolled a 29 so yeah. <laughs> so you have you so you are i'm obviously I'm i want to know go what in, everyone on this yeah. ship had for breakfast. <laughs> I, I am not going to go into everybody's name however but yes you do you are able to download uh that information to the data pad it's going to take a lot longer to get all their service records but the the immediate information you can take uh no problem uh the captain of this particular ship uh is captain uh davin al rami and the uh and i'm gonna post this in the chat so you guys have a spelling um <clears throat> The uh, location, the location has been uh, has been pre-planned, but it does not register where it's going. Only that it's classified. Uh, which, Colin, you would you would actually know that's that's per protocol. Typically, people they're going to put in the coordinates, but they're not necessarily going to know where they're going to go uh, offhand. Um, but that also means that they know they've got somebody important on board. Can we? Grab the astrogation data. Yes, one hundred percent. And figure out where we're going. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I mean, well, we would take an astrogation roll at that point, but you can. Yes, you can absolutely swipe. Yeah. Well, it would be nice to know where they're taking people. Right. But we yeah. don't have to look that up till we get off the ship. With, I mean, we don't need that. Right. Yeah. Maybe it's not a need. I just want to make I sure T four downloads that we can analyze. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah, perfect. Yeah. So I mean, surprised. within. Maybe two minutes. T four, uh, you know, gives a confident chirp. All right. Uh, did it? Did I get our target's cell? Uh, yes, you did actually. Uh, uh, third, the uh, third floor, uh, room ten. Now I have a question. Does Nasar and I have a data pad that has the floor plans as well, or are we just? No, you, you, you've, only, you've only got the one, but it doesn't mean you can't grab one. It just Do means you, yeah. it just means it doesn't have anything on it. You'll have to take time to share the info. Do you want me and T4 to stay here and do our thing from here instead of going to the bridge and being seen there? I think it I, I, I like there's less chance of complications if we're not at the bridge. I like, agree. maybe we should split up now and just Owen and Drake go to the bridge. And, uh... That could be good. It's less intimidating. It's uh, less strange for them 
we'll just let them know that we have others kind of checking out the rest of the ship and they should not be bothered or what have you. But yeah, otherwise the rest of the plan is pretty good. What do you say? It's a good idea. Yeah. It'll make I sure like that Montan isn't bothered okay. in the spare maintenance room. Uh, it would make sense if we were <clears throat> taking notes on a data pad mm -hmm. um, for security purposes. I it agree. That's what I was going to say. We did have data pads. Okay. But it would be nice if we kind of had an idea where we were going. Yeah. So you can, oh. I mean, you can swipe blank data pads Note. here. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. I could, Let's or do that. I could um, request the four plans for the ship. We have the four plans. I think, yeah. I think it would make more sense if you would seem more competent if you already have them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. We'll keep that. So, uh, so then Jerome, like in this maintenance uh, nook, wherever we're at, there's like empty data pads kind of just like sitting there that we yeah. could grab mm -hmm. one. Okay. Yeah. It's, I mean, a data pad in this particular se uh, section is, mu is uh, as valuable as a tool. So, I mean, you can see that they've got, you know, some tools there. They've got some data pads and whatnot. It's just right. for tracking purposes. It, that's okay. what you would expect. All right. And I'm not so giving mine back. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Or Nasara, Ashi, if you need one, grab one right here. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll both take one. All right. Can I pull up cameras? I, I'm trying to get the eye in the sky thing going. I want to be able to find guards and go ahead know. and roll again. Mm -hmm. While he's doing that, I'm going to down, I'm going to transfer uh, floor plan data from our data pad to the two blank ones the ladies have yep, now. Not a problem. This is ridiculous. Thirty-one. Okay. Woohoo! <laughs> I think that's mo that more than cuts it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I, the, although the systems, the system here is not designed to receive that input. It's a map because it doesn't have all the monitors for it. But you have access to it. Yes. I'm gonna like. I'll use a couple spare data pads, and use them as like stand-up monitors. Uh, that would require hard wiring and whatnot to get that going. Oh, okay. So it so it's just a matter of you could only see like three different screens at a time. You don't have like the full security bay like you you would normally here. So well, I mean, you you could still look around. Obviously, it's just a matter of you you're not going to have like eyes on everything at all times. No, no. But I do want to. What I want to do is I want to have like the floor plans and have you know dots moving. I don't need to like see their faces. I just need to know where they are. And I can sure. tell these, you know, the, the ladies like with the three, around, with the three screens that you have, you absolutely can track that way. Yes, okay, that's that's the setup I want. Like, okay, go ahead. Perfect. <laughs> what was the name of the captain again? Devin Alrami. Devin Alrami. Okay. Oh, sorry, I don't have Facebook. I'm trying to keep the lag nope. to a minimum. Totally fine. Okay. We'll leave you here, ladies. You know you know where to go. If anyone is stopped, then have them contact us, and we are headed to the bridge to talk to Captain Davin Alrami. All of you are with Owen. Um, what is Owen's name for this operation slash title? Titles do ISB agents have? Special Agent Blah. <laughs> I don't know. That that is a good question, Colin. You might want to roll bureaucracy. All right, I, I'm just looking for Owen's fake name real quick. <laughs> it do you want to use his again. real fake name, or do we want to just make up another one for this purpose? I think we should just make up another. Make one. up another one. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Point. Good idea. And when when you have already done that when you were doing the forgery, so he'd have his uh, ID. I mean, would he? Would I, I have made an ID for him? Hold on a second. Do, 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 do.
I'm looking up the uh, what the actual rank might be. Uh, do, 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 do. Which, fun fact, the ISB was actually created by West End Games, the guys who have brought this game to us. And yep. it, it ended up becoming canon because Lucasfilm used it. Nice. So you got a 14. So you are uh, a part of, uh, you are an ISB agent, a part of investigations. You might want to write this down so you don't forget it. Uh, and do, 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 do. And you are <laughs> I think it's going to be just the uh, agent under investigations. Let's take a look. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that is literally what it is. I'll just have him call himself Agent Gilbert Investigations for it. Gilbert? Gilbert. 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 Without the G. There you go. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Okay. So you are part of ISB in the investigations unit. You are Agent Gilbert. All right. Jerry, yes. I hmm? thought of something else I want to try to get done. Re to in the in the camera feeds, I want to record some blank hallway, so we can patch over. Uh, loop loop. The, yeah. Okay. Go us. ahead. Uh, at the computer program at that point. My droid's better than me at everything. I made I made a mini me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know this was Austin Powers. It is now, because you know he's got a seven D plus a uh, two actions per turn on hacking. Twenty eight. Woo. Okay. No, he's he's a serious slicer. Like he's a. I'm literally a machine at it, but <laughs> right. Astrogation comes later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hashtag right. priorities. So right. yeah, at this point, it's going to take a little bit to get uh, all the all the appropriate empty hallway footage you're looking for. George is yeah. currently working on it uh, and is making a lot of progress. Okay. All right. So you're uh, you've got yourself situated. Uh, Owen, you and the others, I take it, are going down to the uh, uh, command uh, command deck. Yeah. Yes. Well, I think just uh, Drayden, Owen is, aren't they? We're heading towards the prison. Dre. Yeah, I believe it was Dray and Owen. Okay. Yeah, two were going to um, Val or whatever his name was. Do we have any kind of um, visual on? what we're about to walk into so right now you guys are in uh an empty section of hallway um but that's quickly going to uh break up if you once you get to the elevators to go where you need to go right so do we know that uh we're going we're about to run into people oh yeah uh, if you're going if you're going to go find the target you are absolutely going to run into uh stormtroopers in here we need... Okay, so let's first, before you two go gallivanting around, actually come with us, and then Owen will order you two to go check uh, on the prisoner bays. And, well, you know, you're just going to happen to go to uh, the third floor, room 10. Seems like a good random place to start our investigation. Exactly. Okay. All right, Owen. 
it's going to be your show. Okay, here we go. Can. Let's do this. Okay. So you guys come, you know, marching out from around the corner uh, and immediately, uh, you know, an officer or not an officer, but, uh, uh, you know, well, uh, a naval officer uh, is standing, you know, near the, the, the doorway to the command deck at this point, And he looks uh, very surprised uh, at this point. Uh, Colin... Uh, since you don't, you're not saying anything. You were just trying to own it as you were walking up. Give me a, a roll command. I got a 16. Okay. That puts you right into the difficult category. Nice. So, at, at uh, in the briefest glimpse. There is all of a sudden uh, Red October is pinging. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> That's me. Uh, so there is. What were you saying? There is the briefest glimpse uh, in the in the man's face of alarm, like you know he's noticing people that shouldn't be here until he sees the uniform, and then he quickly like stand straight up no slouch whatsoever and he snaps he snaps a very alarmed uh salute at this point and he says uh, da, da, sir yes what is it officer i was unaware we had uh, isb on board uh, um can i uh, assist if you would take us to Captain David Alarmi, please. I wish to speak with them. It's a surprise security inspection. Oh, of, of course it is. Right. Um, right this way. And he you know, like walks. You know, he walks over to. Uh, you know, walks over to basically where the door is, uh, where uh, all the flight controls and. Uh, the command center uh, is at for the command deck. Uh, the door, you know, slides open uh, upon approach. Uh, and he turns off to the side real quick and, and just, you know, shouts out, Attention! And, like, you know, even the captain, like, turns around for a second. And... <laughs> okay. Okay. So uh, um, there is again a lull because they were with the highest ranking person on this this deck, so they weren't too concerned about it. And they kind of you know, turn around a second, and then all of a sudden everybody's like, "Oh, geez!" and they they snap up real quick. The captain snaps up and snaps a you know snaps a you know a salute real quick as well, and he's like, "Get a Sir, I, I I was unaware ISB was on board, and like he like he's looking, he's shooting daggers at the at the officer who just let you in, sort of thing. Like you know, there's there's latrines in his future. Yeah, <laughs> lots of potato peeling. Oh, forget potato with peeling. a toothbrush. <laughs> yeah, for, forget, forget <laughs> potato peeling. That's that's like a, a charming event for him at this point. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Colin. Surprise security inspection, Captain. Make sure everything is in you know as the Emperor would like it, especially with how many prisoners we are transferring from Camino. And, he's, and so he's like looking around, and and so with that, Colin. Roll your, uh, roll your con. Oh, no. Do you have con? It's like, uh-oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, but it blows. Oh. So roll, Ooh, roll one more d6. Uh -oh. Good okay. job, buddy. Still. 17. Again, in the difficulty category. <laughs> yep. Nice. And so at this point he's like uh, my heart and, dropped. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like uh, of uh, uh, of course sir uh, 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 we always support the the ISB uh, on this this ship and uh, 
you know, he motions to the, you know, to the rest of the crew to, uh, you know, can, you know, carry about their business. And he says, I, I, what exactly can I assist you with today? Uh, um, agent Gilbert, agent Gilbert, ISB investigations. That is all you need to know. Uh, of course, sir. Of course. You're muted. He then turns to Nasara and Ashi. You two, go. Me and the, me and the other, with, along with the captain, will speak. He then turns well, to sir. the captain. As long as my crew remains on this ship, you will not bother them. Long as this inspection goes, do I make myself clear? Uh, of course, sir. Of course. Uh, um. Might I inquire why you have employed Corsac? Second, a second pair of eyes, and not to mention, if anyone was to be a spy from the Rebellion on this ship, they would be able to notice it, unlike some of the soldiers who somehow managed to fly under the radar and yet come out on top. Roll, roll your con again. Yeah. <laughs> the less you say, the better. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. It's on fire. And so, oh I mean, at, at this point, he's he's extremely alarmed, and he's like, I I, I was unaware that there was a, a problem with the the security. Who who are these individuals? And I I will I'll have them apprehended at once. That's the thing, Captain. This is why it's a surprise inspection. If they knew we were coming, don't you think they were shaping up their act? Uh, roll command. I get nervous because statistically, one out of every six rolls is going to fail. <laughs> It's true. I got fourteen, and so he's like, uh, uh, "Of course, of course, uh, you you are the ISB. Uh, I did not mean to question your authority, sir. How can I assist? Would you please take me and my other associate on a tour of this ship? Uh, of course, I like to right, right away. See it myself. Uh, and he just said, you know, he says." Uh, uh, you know, looks over to, you know, the lieutenant. He says, "Lieutenant, you have the deck. I I will be escorting our, uh, I will be escorting Agent Gilbert uh, and his associate uh, to wherever he needs to be." Aye, aye, Captain. He steps up and takes the chair. Sweet. Yeah. So we follow. What's his face's lead, right? Wherever he's going to take us. Yeah. And and while they're moving away from their teammates, Ashi is going to kind of whisper to Nasara, "You're taking lead because <laughs> you have more experience with this stuff Roger. than I do." Roger that. Okay. Can I can I send the guard data to their data pad as well? Yeah. So you have a map. With guard locate like active guard locations. Awesome. So as you take the elevator, take it down to the appropriate floor, uh, and the door you know slides open. There are a couple of officers standing there, and they you know look to the two of you and they say, "Halt! What are you doing here?" On business from uh, Agent Gilbert, ISB Investigations. Any inquiries will have to be taken up with him and uh, Cap and Al Rami. Uh, go ahead and roll your con. Like it. Oh, oh, it's blowing up. And the six. So, Fifteen. Nice. Fifteen. Spot. Actually, loves us tonight. Not, not bad. I mean, I did get two ones. I got two ones. But so, so at that, <laughs> so at that point, uh, you know, he, 
you know, he holds up his hand at this point and he says, that doesn't make any sense. Call, call this into bridge. And so, you know, somebody presses a button on their, their comm desk and, you know, chimes in for a second. And then at that okay. point, at, you know, at that point when they get the, the message back, like the, the guy who was holding you up is like, Ugh. he just kind of does like one of the, one, you know, one of those numbers. And he says, all right, just go. <laughs> Oh, she's um, going to ask for his name. <laughs> okay, so I, I mean, he uh, he provides you his name. She's gonna put it on Write her. Write it on your data pad. Right. Mm -hmm. She's gonna kind of give him a disgusted look. Okay. <laughs> Irritated. All right. I will. Well, you, you can tell uh, by his look that because you're core sec, they think very little of you right and if the isb agent you know wasn't here they would be jamming you up big time <laughs> so you you may want to watch it not only corsic but also aliens yeah and also too. women yeah wow we're we're, okay. we're we're reaching today it's like, oh, we're, <laughs> just we're, we're the aliens and 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 we're corsic and 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 and, and you know we're, 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 Feel pity we're, for us. We're, we're AOCs, <laughs> aliens of color, and we're female. Oh no! All right, let's yeah. let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we fight for equality. Yeah. All right, so we're uh, following the map to uh, four three. Yeah. So you go walking down, and the way these ships are set up is just long hallways it's literally like being on the inside of a prison with just like small cells you know on, on either side you know and you can see many of them are are empty should we stop every once in a while and just look like we're taking notes yeah i was thinking we should look like we're uh doing an investigation so Both every you roll now con. And then we're gonna okay <laughs> You more physical to roll or obviously just... both of you obviously more physical than anything because you're not encountering anybody right now so our con yeah mm -hmm. 17 okay Thirteen. okay so you're you are doing a decent job of looking at the things that are unimportant, making it look like it's important. So like occasionally you'll stop, inspect one of the doors, making sure you look official in doing it, but you're know, making it look like you're checking out the joints or, you know, if somebody's in there, making sure that, uh, you know, and you look back at cameras occasionally, not only to determine, you know, if you're being watched, which you know you are, but to also make it look like you're making sure that the camera has you know an angle on the cell you know that sort of thing like just you're and doing what you can occasionally maybe jotting something down or typing something in your pad as you're walking along not in any rush to get to cell number 10 on this floor all right all right so owen where do you have the captain take you okay <laughs> The armory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Colin. I I know I'm trying to think. Um I'm gonna have Owen request because he's worked on ships before the most vulnerable spots and then work his way to make sure that the captain doesn't have to think of anything before <laughs> A, so starting with like the engines and yeah the engines okay. and such before he... yeah maybe don't bring him into the maintenance well am i in the engine room no you're you are in the maintenance basically it's a main hey so I, i'm gonna like assume everybody shop? here has seen star wars you know episode four mm -hmm. think of it in the sense of like the uh, detention cells you had a bay and then you had the detention cells right so right. the mechanical area the bay itself set up kind of similar so you've got the mechanical bay which you're set up at and then the engines are are back there always but they're also down uh, a floor or two okay 
So you're not in any immediate danger. Can uh, I lock my door? <laughs> yes, you can pull Star Wars and lock the door. Oh dear! <laughs> <laughs> you just missed him. <laughs> okay, so then Owen, uh, as you are, you know, uh, walking along, he's kind of giving you a tour of the engines. Uh, uh, you know, every so often you guys are seeing guards, uh, you know, making their patrols. It, it's clear that word is starting to get around that ISB is on the ship. So everybody is, you know, on high alert and making sure that, that they are, they're where they're supposed to be. Uh, and you know, their, their T's are crossed and their I's are dotted. All right. Uh, Drade, is there anything After... you're doing in the meantime, uh, other than just following along? I am making sure to uh, act as, as stoic as possible. Not a not a single smile, nothing. Especially with you know wearing the sunglasses. He's mm -hmm. he's uh, he's Agent uh, Gilbert's right hand man, and it'll occasionally like kind of act like he's whispering to him, saying certain things, and just to play the part of the heavy. Okay. Okay, so then as you guys are doing that, you're keeping the uh, the captain detained uh, with entertaining the two of you. Uh, Owen, why don't you uh, why don't you give give me another con check? <laughs> nice. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, even though it was a little weird that ISB somehow stowed away or was already here or whatnot, he's more concerned with the fact that you're here and he's making sure that uh, everything looks tip-top. You, you, have, you have got him thoroughly snowed at this point. Uh, so, Ashi and Nasara, uh, you guys uh, approach the cell. Um, there is one uh, next to him that does have uh, that does have somebody in it, but then you see him kind of quietly sitting in his cell. He's barefoot. Um, are there guards in the room? No. Okay. There are guards um, on the floor, however. Every so often when there's a hallway that leads to another block uh there are security guards posted up there um i'm okay so do, uh did we decide that the door was going to just be unlocked for us that's my plan out? we can do it well yeah because you said you were going to unlock it from where you were right should we uh and we have comms together right yep okay. well, i'm also um, traveling you guys so like I'll, I'll know that you're there too okay yeah. i can roll again a distraction for the yep go parts. ahead and go ahead and roll security oops yeah i got it 19. even with that crappy roll 19. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Dang. all that binary <laughs> adds up to something <laughs> Oh, by numerical advantage. <laughs> That's Especially, ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, at that point, T4, you know, chimes confidently, basically saying, you know, yeah, got this sort of thing. And then uh, you guys end up hearing a chirp from T4, letting you know that the uh, door is uh, is unlocked. Um, I'm going to make a show of examining the security um apparatus okay around the cells mm -hmm. um and then i'm going to uh talk into my comms and say um sir we've got some irregularity on um in in the cell block uh i think this prisoner uh warrants further investigation would you like to interrogate Yes, he may be of valuable use, and given the irregularities, 
he is obviously valuable. Colin, go ahead and roll your con. <laughs> Oh no. Uh Colin Colin does have a reroll, yes. I think Yes he does. He does. I gave okay. him one. <laughs> and then someone's gonna give him another. Oh my god. Unfortunately. Shoot. Oh no. Another, so, wait, I got another reroll? Nope. Oh. oh okay, no. so you do oh, say no, that and at that best. point at that point the captain uh turns around and you know, and looks to you and he says uh Agent uh, Gilbert, if you don't mind, I could have my security team assist you and prep a room if, if necessary. He turns to the cat captain and slowly walks up to him. Are you doubting me and the people I brought, Captain? Because I can have ISB investigate you and your, let's say, allegiance to the Empire. <laughs> okay, roll con again. Please, somebody give him a reroll. I gave him a reroll. Yep. Okay. okay good. <laughs> Get ready for another one. Oh wait, we need a couple of minutes. Eighteen. Oh. Okay. Oh. All right. And he says, "No, no, again, sir. I, I, I'm not questioning your authority. I'm offering my assistance. Your assistance is not needed, Captain. I can handle it." A barefoot, orange and white jumpsuit prisoner is not a threat to the ISB. Uh, 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 of course, sir. Of, of course. Oh, go on, talk. I'm oh, did this. I hear? I didn't hear any of that, did I? No. Okay, I only heard. Uh, okay, I'll just say. Uh, Yes, sir. I'll um, bring him to uh, the rendezvous point for interrogation. <laughs> so I'll um, <clears throat> we'll, uh, look to the guy. Um, I mean, he's looking your direction at this point, yeah. not fully understanding why non- Imperial officers are standing outside his door. Um, does he have like a, a a prisoner number? Uh, yes. Okay, it's, I'm it, gonna call. It, his... it is blah, but yes, it's it's printed on okay. in Arabic gonna, on his outfit. I'm gonna I'm gonna use his number and say. Um, I'll need you to come with me, please. And he, he kind of looks and he say and he says you know he's very apprehensive, uh, and he says, uh, um, "Why? Where am I going?" Well, you're about to find out. Okay, uh, go ahead and uh, roll. Roll your con, uh, or um, persuasion. I'll 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 allow persuasion. My name's Nassar. I'm here to rescue you. I know him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell me. Twenty six. <laughs> okay, maybe it was something about your face or something because you clearly don't aren't giving off like an imperial vibe, you know, or, or whatnot. But he likes stands up. And, I mean, he's still very cautious, but he stands up and. And you know, complies. He puts his hands behind you know his head and uh, wait, what waiting kind for the of, door to come open. Um, what kind of restraints is he in? None right now. Okay, so um, I'll take. Um, uh, let's see. If he's got his hands behind his head, mm -hmm. you would then just reorient his hands behind his back, and then cuff okay, him that, way. that works. Yeah, that works. Um, and, and did we have cuffs? You have did the one have set cuffs? that Owen had. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I, will I probably put the, will go on the tour. I will put the cuffs on, but I'll, um, if there's a way that I can make it, um, 
No, you know what? I, I gotta sell it. Um, cause we don't want him like breaking away from us. Right. Okay. Um, I'll put them on, but I'm gonna like also pat his back, like <laughs> just very briefly, so that he's like, "This is, this is definitely unusual." Okay. So you're giving him an unusual pat. A, a normal should, pat. Should, should, a normal we, pat. So like, should we cue the security careless, officer would not do that? Should, should we cue the careless whisper saxophone? Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> pat, pat. No. <laughs> just a, a gesture an innocent gesture that will make it seem like he is reassurance not sure. in trouble okay yeah so i mean he just he's waiting for you to give him direction where to go okay then um so if his hands are behind his back mm -hmm. then i'll take one elbow and have ashi take his other elbow okay mm -hmm. and i'll and i'll say um or heading to the rendezvous point um and we'll make our way to uh the ship okay so you come walking back to the security sector uh, at this point, uh, you know, and at that point, again, the officer like jams you up. He's like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you, where do you think you're going? Are you seriously going to contact my superior again? I understand he's <laughs> with the captain. Hello, he Vancouver by night. So, uh, and I mean, he's like, this is a high value prisoner. You can't just walk in and out, uh, you know, of here with him. Look, I'm just doing my job. Roll your con. <laughs> okay. I'm going to, uh, add a character point. So for a plus one. Okay. Or should I do two character points? Uh, that would make it a plus two. Or you have uh you have a force point. What does a force point get me again? Double the dice. Yeah, it, let's do that. It just means you don't it just means you don't get it immediately back. You're not a force user. Sure. We'll do that. <laughs> Double the dice. Okay, I'm rolling con. Yeah. Twenty-six. Okay. Nice. So he's like he's about ready to press the button to call it in again. And then like like you see the prudent person on the team. Like, you know, he like he mouth whispers like sort of thing, and he's just like mm, you know, just kind of shakes he shakes his head like he wants to push it. But like the rest of his team are like, man, you're gonna put us in a world or don't, don't you like they're giving him that look of like we're all gonna go down if you push this sort of thing. Like like they're they're mentally, you know, communicating <laughs> that. There's a lot of very intense looks going yeah. on right now. <laughs> yeah, there there Raise are eyebrows. <laughs> There's also a thing of we're going hazy in your bed if you do that, probably. Yep. They're just like, you know, we're full all gonna be in latrines. <laughs> yeah. And you won't have a toothbrush. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. and no surgical gloves just your hands oh, oh uh, gosh that's right uh so he just like he just fine go on and i'll um kind of uh wrestle the prisoner a little just a little bit roughly to sell it uh, okay to keep moving uh, you end up, yeah, you end up asleep. here. You end up hearing him mutter something about Twilix, <laughs> and like right. the rest of the rest of his team kind of go like, and then immediately <laughs> what? Like one of the other guys that's there, just like I, it's you know, it's it's okay, ma'am. Why why don't you just uh, uh you know, the, the second floor up, they've got they've got great teas. Why, why don't you you know when you're stopping on your way, get get a tea. <laughs> um. 
Nasara will say to Ashi, um, add that to your notes, please. Oh yeah, she's 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 been writing ever since he okay. stopped them. She's been taking notes. <laughs> sure, of sure, his okay. Impetuous, and yes. Basically, okay. doing the hot fuzz thing. Yep, and she'll say yes, ma'am. Okay. Stop writing! Stop writing! <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll continue to make our way um, back, back up. Back up. The, okay. Yep. yep. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, while they're doing that, Owen, uh, you and Drade have been shown the uh, engine section. You've been shown uh, the barracks on this particular vessel. He's already gone through and shown you uh, how secure the command deck is. Should there be a revolt of any kind on this prison ship? While we're uh, going through... Um, Drade is actually going to try to use his sense force ability to see if there's anything weird force wise that he's picking up here just while we're here. Sure, go ahead and roll. Okay, it's three. Okay, nine, and the difficulty. Yeah, I probably wouldn't get anything because it's moderate for an area. So he's yeah. trying, but not picking anything up. Yeah, you're still a little new to this. Uh, and despite there being half staff on this particular vessel, it's still just too big. Okay. All right. Well, uh, at that point, uh, you know, the captain turns to Owen at this, uh, at this point and he says, uh, so Agent Gilbert, uh, are we, will we be needing to... Uh, set you up with a your own cabin uh, um a, a section off for your team uh, how long do you think this inspection will will take not long i plan on leaving soon actually he then communicates with the uh two how was your inspection i had sent you off with uh couple of incidents of insubordination, but um, that is to be expected. Uh, some of the commentary was less than cooperative, but uh, we'll have to see. Um, still a little bit yet to look at. Thank you very much. He then looks at the captain. I suggest you get your crew in shape because of their mouths. That can lead to trouble, Captain. Go ahead and roll con again. Jerry, I have a question. Are these com links like private? These are, yes. Okay, so not like the little speaker. What do you do? <laughs> right. It's on it's on speakerphone. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. <laughs> right. Okay, so I mean, he just uh, 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 of of course, agent, uh, sir. Yes, of course. I will. I will ensure that uh, my entire staff uh, has a stern talking to. I'm gonna I'm gonna calm link to go. well to the group, but speaking to Owen and tell him, you know, give him a reason not to talk about our visit after we leave. Oh. Tell them you don't want word getting out that we are conducting these investigations on prison transports or else the others will, uh, you know, be ready when we don't want them to be. So. And we will know if he does. We will know. We will know where it came from. <laughs> <laughs> well, as my investigation is coming to conclude, this I must let you off with. This investigation must never leave the ship. If it spreads to any other ship that we are conducting investigation on prison transports, we will know who mouthed it in the first place. Do I make myself clear, Captain? Roll your con again. <laughs> I just want to add, because I will personally shoot you out of an airlock. <laughs> <laughs> 
I like it. Uh, hold on a second. No, you can you can you can get away with that. I was thinking that might that was that might be borderline dark side, but no, you're good. But it falls in Imperial. <laughs> it, it's fine. Yeah, go ahead and roll. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, and he says, uh, 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 "Of course, sir. I, I will. I will refrain from uh, uh, giving any details until we have reached our destination. Even if you reached it, no talk of the prison inspections. You're dismissed." He then just turns to make rendezvous with the other two. Okay. Can I get that that all those visuals scrubbed? Uh, give me one more roll. Security. Yep. Or computers, actually. Uh, okay. So we have the prisoner in the ship at the moment now. Did we make it there not, yet? Not as of yet. Oh, okay. Did we make Thank it you. as far as the mechanical? So thing? yep. Uh, so you have got so visual wise, nothing is showing up. You've got the, uh, uh, you timed it well enough that you can sub in the, uh, the, the blank hallways on a loop so that, uh, Ashijak and Asara with the prisoner isn't seen coming around. Obviously you can't do anything about the people that actually saw them, but system wise, there, there, there's no record of it. All right. Sounds good. Let's, uh, let's pack it up and head back to the ship. But like, okay, you guys come collect me when you're there. <laughs> yeah, we're we're gonna come right past you. Oh so. yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. And and Montan, at this point, like you did, uh, wind up uh, like a a mechanic did come walking in there, like I mean, and he was all casual, like he just throwing on his his overalls or whatnot, and then it, it, like as soon as he saw you, like there was that inquisitive look for a second. But it's clear word has gotten out on the ship that ISB was on there, and he just popped his sandwich in his mouth and walked the other way. Yeah, this <laughs> pay, here, here's my pay grade. This is where this is at. <laughs> nope. And here's how many F's I give. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Time for another sandwich. Yep. <laughs> it's it's sandwich time. I think I'll eat at my desk today. So by the time you guys are taking him back to that airlock, yeah, like uh uh the prisoner is just thoroughly confused at this point. He's like, um what the heck is going on? Um sorry we'll say um <clears throat> Mr. Null. I hope you didn't get too attached to this ship. <laughs> it's like looking around. He says, uh, "No." We're almost home. <laughs> and so he's like, like, at that point, he's like, "It's it's dawning on him that this was like a gigantic con job." Uh, <laughs> And he's like, oh no! And he starts scrambling up the, you know, the ladder at this point to get the heck out of here. Okay, we'll have uh, we'll have Ashi go in first, and then and then the prisoner, and then I will go. Okay. Or maybe maybe I'll wait until like maybe I'll wait with um, with Montan until the others come. Okay. Uh, you are muted there, Shelley. I said Ashi will. T- Get him uncuffed and take him to where he can change. Okay. Perfect. And get some food. Nice. Okay. Because he probably hasn't been fed very well there. There you go. Get the man some socks. And try to answer as many, much questions as she can. Yeah. Uh, and so you guys, so Montana at this point gets gets out. This went over way better than I thought uh, it was going to happen. That is Don't chase going- it. We're not there yet. I know. We <laughs> that- that is where we're going to end it for tonight. Uh, we're ending it oh, on. Man. 
We're ending it on a, a roll with Draid. Uh, you need to disconnect and and safely drop out of light speed. Okay. Use the force. Force points. Force points. Also won. We kaboom. End of game. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Kaboom. Oh. And, so, and so when we come back for the it's next trick. game, when he comes back for the next game, it's just Ed with with the with the Vincent Vega sort of look like. <laughs> like, like no one's around oh, anymore, hi, Mark. and he's the only one there. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Oh my god. Okay, so he's also gonna he's gonna use um, concentration. Uh, okay, yeah, that definitely meets the threshold for that. Okay, go ahead and roll. Oh yeah, that's right. Thirty. Wow. wow. That is very God, much. He is fast. my. <laughs> yep. So at this Bow point, you, you you drop out of hyperspace at this point. Uh, uh, you know, as you disconnect from the uh, the when you disconnect from the the, the dungeon ship, and you're somewhere out in the the wilds of space you know just in, in a, a distance there's a bit of a like an asteroid field or something but not obviously within the path uh, which irony of ironies that's one of the problems i had with the acolyte there's no way you would drop out of light speed and all of a sudden be in the middle of an asteroid field <laughs> yeah like you would have run into things exactly you would have <laughs> flown through asteroids at light speed and died yeah <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so then um, obviously you guys take some time to put in the coordinates to go back to, or at this point, make the jump to the L root sector. Mm -hmm. And there you go. Sweet. And before we end for tonight, we need to roll for uh, character points. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. All right. Cool. So roll one d one d six plus one. Do that. I'll do it. Here we go. One d six plus one. Guys, that was a near perfect oh. mission. <laughs> roll to one of the points was, though, so a total of two. Oh my points. gosh, I well, was shaking. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see that you were nervous. Yeah, you I kept going. So be good. nice. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Yeah, you was, were amazing. Yeah, that, that was. That was Act so damn well. That was fantastic. So good job, guys. Yeah, that went over way better uh, than I thought. You guys, I, I, I thought for certain somebody was going to bot something on there, and it, it would have been like a a firefight to get and to, to make your way out. I can't I believe bought, the dice bot. Right? Oh, yeah. Just opened all the doors. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I think Prison that's break. I've ever seen the dice bot be that nice to us. For real. So, I think we got the bonus, guys. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it seems like we would have. And the other thing you have going in your favor is, uh, since this is just a, a uh, prison ship, uh, it's obviously slower than yours. So you'll be, like, way out of dodge before True. they eventually get to their destination. Yeah, plus they think it was an ISB inve investigation, not yeah. <laughs> actually a prison break. Really they can't really go we, in and talk to anybody. We probably ought to retire the persona, though. Yes. Like, never oh, yeah. never use that ruse again. <laughs> or at least not for a very long time. Yeah, precisely. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> because... Oh, yeah. that, that was, yeah. that was we so good. The, we put the uniforms in storage for a while. So, <laughs> yeah. good job. Good yeah. job, guys. Uh, so those of you who have tuned in or are watching us uh, or watching us on the replay, uh, we will be back again this Friday with Mythic, Mythic Savannah, uh, our World of Darkness mixed game. Uh, and then on Saturday, uh, we're and that's at 7.30 p.m. On Saturday at 6 p.m., we'll be here with uh, Marvel Super Heroes, our Modern Age Heroes game. Uh, that's at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So thank you guys all for tuning in hanging out with us uh, and listening, uh, uh, of course, as um space uh what was it spaces rain uh had been indicating they were just listening to us so thank you guys and you guys have a good night good night good night, good night. Boop.